In this video, we will show you how to set the foundations for your polytunnel using anchor plates or concrete on an earth base such as grass or soil. In this video, we will demonstrate setting the foundations for a 24 foot wide by 24 foot long polytunnel. Setting the foundations is an essential part of constructing your polytunnel. Taking your time to set your polytunnel foundations correctly will ultimately result in a more robust polytunnel that performs well and looks good. Here are the parts you'll need. All of your polytunnel foundations should be in line, evenly spaced and consistent in height. To get started, we're going to position the four corner foundations. If you are using anchor plates or concrete, the swaged end of the foundation tube should be out of the ground when set. At this stage we are temporarily positioning the foundations to make sure we have the right measurements, so only push them into the ground enough to steady them. Take all measurements from the tube centres. Choose a corner and position the first foundation. From this corner, measure down the length of your polytunnel and position the second foundation where your polytunnel ends. It is essential that your foundations are set square. This can be achieved by ensuring that both diagonal measurements from corner to corner are equal. This measurement is different for different sizes of polytunnel. We have listed the diagonal measurements in your construction booklet. If your size isn't listed in the construction booklet, we also have a useful polytunnel diagonal calculator available online that calculates this important length. Please visit firsttunnels.co.uk forward slash diagonal. Using two tape measures in tandem, measure 24 feet across the width from the second corner and diagonally from the first corner to position the third corner foundation. Repeat this procedure to position the final corner foundation. Finally, double check the measurement between number three and four corners is correct for your length of polytunnel. Now your corner foundations are in position and square, you should now check that the site is level. A slope along the polytunnel's length is not an issue. However, if the site slopes across the width, then the foundation on the lower side will need raising out of the ground until they are level with the other side. This is to ensure that the hoops are vertical. We suggest that the foundations are raised no more than 15 centimeters, as you require enough foundation to be secured into the ground. We can supply longer foundation tubes if required. Please visit firsttunnels.co.uk forward slash tube. Checking the degree of the slope can be achieved by running a taut string line from the base of a corner foundation across the width. Delicately holding a spirit level on the string line or using a line level can determine the slope. If a slope exists, you must start by fitting the foundations on the side that is the highest first. We will now show you how to secure the foundations into the ground. If you are using anchor plates or concrete, you will be required to measure around the foundation tube and excavate a 50 cm square by 60 cm deep hole. This means you'll be required to re-measure the position of the foundation tubes using the methods demonstrated earlier. The base of the hole can be used to hold the foundation tube in place. Protecting the swaged end with a piece of timber, knock the foundation tube into the base of the hole. The base of the swage should be set at ground level. Use a piece of timber to lay over the hole as a guide. Now we will show you how to secure foundations using anchor plates. Secure an exhaust clamp to the bottom of the foundation tube using a 13mm spanner. Slide an anchor plate down the foundation tube to meet the clamp and then secure another exhaust clamp on top. Now you can backfill the hole, packing the soil as you go. Now we're going to demonstrate securing the polytunnel foundations using concrete. Secure an exhaust clamp approximately two thirds down the tube. The clamp prevents the unlikely instance of the tube sliding out of the concrete block. We suggest using concrete that is one part cement and five part aggregate. We also recommend postcrete. This ready-made mix is supplied in 20 kilogram bags and you simply add water. Approximately two bags per hole will be required.
We have now shown you how to secure the first foundation in position using anchor plates or concrete. We will now proceed to secure the three remaining corner foundations. For the second corner, use two tapes in tandem to reposition the foundation and secure using anchor plates or concrete. We will now secure the third corner. The foundations on the opposite side of your polytunnel must be sat level across the width. This may require setting the foundations higher out of the ground. If using anchor plates or concrete, excavate a hole and reposition the third corner foundation using the methods described earlier. To ensure the foundation tube is set level across the 24 foot width, tie a string line onto the second foundation tube close to the top. Adjust the height of the foundation tube to the correct level across the width. You may be required to return back some of the hole spoil to accommodate this. Once the third foundation is the correct height and position, secure it into the ground using anchor plates or concrete. We will now reposition and secure the final corner foundation. If using anchor plates or concrete, excavate a hole and reposition the fourth corner foundation using the methods described earlier. Tie a string line from the first corner foundation and pull it taut across the width to ensure the fourth foundation is level with the first foundation and secure it into the ground. We have now positioned and secured all four corner foundations. You can now install the intermediate foundations. Use a measuring tape to position intermediate foundations at six foot spacings. If using anchor plates or concrete, excavate a 50 cm square by 60 cm deep hole for each foundation. Use a taut string line between the two corner foundations to ensure the intermediate foundations are consistent in height and in line. Reposition the intermediate foundations in the hole and secure using anchor plates or concrete. Now we are ready to repeat on the opposite side. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.